Uh, my name is Edward Tam. I'm, I have a bachelor degree in actuarial studies and information systems back in 2001, and I also have a master's degree in advanced finance with uh, University of New South Wales. So currently I'm working as an associate director in KPMG, uh, working in the life insurance practice area. Uh, I've been working in the life insurance industry for the last 15 years. I started my career in Tower Life, which is a direct life insurer. Uh, my first role is an actuarial analyst in the insurance product team. So um, my day-to-day -day role in, involves a lot of uh, phone calls with financial planners and me regular meetings with different professions uh, such as underwriting, claims and administration. So, so this, this, this sort of, to be honest, like at that time I was actually quite shy and so it was quite of a out of my comfort zone, but, but I think that sort of leads me to my career path down later. So, yeah, after two years in that role, I've requested to move to a more technical actuarial role in the, fi uh, in the financial valuation team, doing more technical actuarial works because I thought that's an area that I want to improve in. Yeah, so another, and after another two years, I decided to move to AMP, which is a, a, also an, a direct life insurance, but it's a larger life insurer working as a corporate actuary, a corporate super actuary. So that, that enables me to learn more about superannuation, investment and other insurance products and give me experience working in a large life insurance company with a lot of actuaries. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And then in our, after another two years, I've decided, or I, I feel like I've, my learning is a bit stalled. So I, I decided to move to KPMG, working as a consultant because I, I feel like that will give me more variety of work and working with a lot of variety of clients. Yeah, from, from my, from, I mean, this, this past experience allows me to get to where I am today because I like to interact with people, I like to work with different people with different backgrounds. So firstly, from my experience working in a, in a direct insurer back in the days when I worked with Tower and AMP, Actuaries do tend to do a lot of traditional life insurance actuarial works, such as pricing, li pricing life insurance product, doing expense investigation, and do financial reporting. But when I, I moved to a consulting role, the role of actuaries changed a lot because they, the actuaries are valued by the skills and not just what they usually do. So anything that helps to solve a client's business problem and we, we get involved in. So that, that include like the typical traditional life insurance work, but also data analytics, mergers and acquisitions, audit, risk management, uh, claims assessments as well. We do actually help with the claims assessment because we have a claims team within the actual area. Um, industry surveys, benchmarking against industry, uh, creating life insurance tables to be used by other insurance company and students as well. Um, model building and model reviews for non-financial institutions such as uh, recruitment agencies, climate change, uh, cemeteries, student loan valuation for government, so a lot of variety of clients. Yeah, we also work in the wealth management area in the superannuation space, unit pricing, and there's also a lot of secondment work where we sort of work in a different company uh, doing a different role, so pretty much helping the clients uh, in, in wh whatever they need, so and that doesn't actually need to be an uh, actuarial uh, numbers role. So, which is the project I'm on now, I'm in a totally non-actuarial role, just supporting the client. So, in terms of c companies that hire actuaries, I feel like the consulting companies and also direct life insurance probably hire the bulk of the life insurance graduates. Although there are other companies that do hire actuaries, such as Supernation Fund, Risk Management, and other firms but they tend to hire more the experienced actuaries, so they don't, I, I feel like they, they don't take a lot of graduates. Yeah, so the current challenge is, in the media there has been quite a bit of bad publicity for life insurance company where these claimants are in four corners to discuss about their poor experience. And there's also recent media to talk about superannuation fund where like we're charging insurance that people don't know about. So there's a lot of bad publicity for a lot of the, the, the industry because the media tends to focus just on the bad side and not 
on the people who actually get the benefit from life insurance. So, so that is always an uh, ongoing challenge. In terms of future, future issues and challenges, I think uh, the insurer tech, which is the large investment in the technology or life insurance company and robotics and that kind of thing. So it's sort of changed the landscape. I will see that it will change the landscape for our clients, uh, for life insurance companies, etc. Like for like other like other industries, there will be lots of jobs because of all the new technology, but I'm certain that it will also be new jobs created for actuaries as well. I feel in my university studies, the actual subjects tend to focus on more on the theory and all the, also the principles and also give you a, a background context of the business world. I, I don't, f I, although I don't directly use them like in my work, I feel like if I don't actually have those background and the building blocks, I wouldn't be able to, to actually do the work I am doing today. So it is very important. So in terms of like a lot, lot of the first principles of actual calculations and things and premium calculation things because in in the university study you sort of picture it's a, the calculation is done in a perfect world where the, all the data is clean and things like that but in the real world of course it's a little bit different but in order to actually do what you need to do you actually need to understand all the concepts and the basics behind it that you actually need to practice but under a, a, a simplifier well, and then you can adapt that into the new, uh, into the new business as well. And in terms of advice for students, the, the, because there is a lot of actual students coming from more the universities now, so the good academic records results is only probably get you to the first stage. I th I feel like um, work experience, especially relevant work experience, uh, good communication skills, and good com computing skills are the things that probably will give you an edge.